فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد وإذا شرح هذا الكتاب التحفة السنية بشرح المقدمة الآجرومية written by الشيخ محمد محي الدين عبد الحميد رحمه الله رحمة واسعة In our last lesson we spoke about um, علامات النصب We spoke about the we spoke about the nasb. Today, inshallah ta'ala, we're going to go into al-khafd, which is also known as what? Al-jar. As you can see on the board, it says al-jar, and it is, it also, it's also said what? Al-khafd. Who is the one who calls it khafd? Who calls it khafd? Huh? The scholars of Kufa call it. Ibn Ajurrum and this kitab is in accordance to the madhab of the Kufiyin, the scholars of Kufa. <coughs> They're the ones who say khafd. Ulama al Basra, what do they say? What do Ulama al Basra say? They call it jar. They call it jar. And why? What's the difference between it? And what's the discussion regarding it? We will, inshallah ta'ala, come to it in the other books that we study, inshallah ta'ala. Why do they call it khafd? Why do these ones call it jar? What's the difference between the two? And inshallah ta'ala, when we finish a jirumiyah, we will study the difference between the two madhabs. Madhab wa ahli kufa and madhab wa ahli al-basra and the usul that they're built on. And if they differ between themselves, which one do you strengthen? If they differ, fi ma baynahum. And one believes something and the other one believes something. Who sh should we strengthen? We'll discuss that after we finish this kitab, inshallah ta'ala. <coughs> so the author, rahimahullah, Ibn Ajirrum, he says, Alamatul khafdi, qala, walil khafdi thalatu alamatin al-kasratu wal-yau wal-fathatu. The alamat of the khafd. Are three. خفض, the khafd has three signs. Al kasaratu and al yau and al fatha. Okay? Let's look at what Muhammad Muhyiddin Abdul Hamid says. He says, Wa kulu yumkinu ka an ta'rifa an al kalima ta mahfubatun ida wujidat. أما إذا وجدت فيها واحدا من ثلاثة أشياء You would know if a word is مخفوض يمكنك it is possible أن تعرف to know أن الكلمة ذري ورد مخفوضة it has خفض on it or جر on it إذا وجدت when you find فيها in that word the ها goes back to الكلمة if you find in it wahidan min thalathati ashya one of three things al awwalu the first is al kasratu wa hiya al aslu fi al khafd and that's the what that's the default original position as you can see on the board what did i write alamat asliya sah I don't know why I wrote alamat. صح? I should have just written alamah asliya. I should have written alamah asliya because there's only one alamah kasra. So if you wrote alamat and made it jama, just 
character, inshallah ta'ala, and write alama asliya. So the first one is alama asliya, and it is what? Al kasra. Ibn kasra is the alama what, which is what? Asliya, it's the, it's the default. And the benefit I said always, I, re, I bring it back and I keep mentioning is that when something is upon the asal, la yus'alu anhu, it's not asked about it. No one can ask you, why is it majroorun ha, with what? Kasra. No one has the rights to ask you that. Okay, that's the asal and that's the default position. Very good. That's what Muhammad Muhyiddin Abdul Hamid says. He says, إِذَا وَجَدْتَ فِيهَا وَاحِدًا مِنْ ثَلَاثَةِ أَشْيَاءَ الْأَوَّلُ الْكَسْرَةُ The first one is الْكَسْرَةُ If you find kasr in there. وَهِيَ الْأَصْلُ فِي الْخَفْضِ And it is the asal in the khafd. And I always say this, I always say this, brothers and sisters, if you ever want to be grounded in a science, it's good to always know what is the asal in a matter. Because you wouldn't be the person who's asked to go and get the evidence. Sah? Now, if you're in the default position, you what? No one can tell you to find the evidences because that's the asal, right? Al awwalul kasaratu. The awwal is what? Kasara. Wa hiya al aslu fil khafti. Then it's the alama asliya. والثاني الياء والثالث الفتحة. The second one is الياء and the third one is الفتحة وهما فرعان عن الكسرة. And both of them are what? علامتان فرعيتان. They are both what? علامتان two signs the ياء and the فتحة which are what? فرعيتان. What does فرعيتان mean? It means it is not the asal. It's a sub-branch. Okay? It stems from the asal. So the ya and the fatha are what? They are alama which is far'iyya. Alama which is sub-branch. Then any person can ask you and say to you, Lima u'riba bil ya'i. Ama lima ukhfidha bil ya'i. Why is it makhfudun with ya? Why is it majroor with ya? Or why is it majroorun bil fatha? The person can ask you that. And you would have to have the answer. The answer would always be this. The answer would always be what? It would always be this. So if you say ya, what would the answer be? The answer would be al isma al khamsa or al muthanna or jam'u al salim. If it's fatha, you would have to say mamnu' min al sarf, which we're going to study inshallah. Are we all together? Is this making sense? Important. Okay. He says, Muhammad Muhyiddin Abdul Hamid, وَلِكُلِّ وَاحِدٍ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْأَشْيَاءِ And in each and every one of these things, الثلاثة مواضع يكون فيها وسنذكر لك مواضعها تفصيلا فيما يلي And each and every one of those three, which is the kasra, which is the ya, which is the fatha, they have mawadi' yakunu fiha in which they will occur. Now, what mawadi' is, is what? What does he mean by the mawadi' The places in which it will occur. What does he mean by it? I mean, the kasr will occur when it is what? When the place, the mawadi' is ismu mufrat. Or if the mawadi' is what? Jam'u taksir. Or if the mawadi' is jam'u alayhi salim, then it will occur. And also, the ya' will occur and it will come if the mawadi' is al isma al isma al khamsa. Or if the mawdu' is a muthanna, or if the mawdu' is jam'u, mudhakr salim And also the fatha will occur, mawdu' where it's what? Mamnu' min al-sarf. That's why he says, وَلِكُلِّ وَاحِدِ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْأَشْيَاءِ الثَّلَاثَةَ Each and every one of those three. Which three? Al-Khafdu, Walya, Wal-Fatha. Each and every one of those three. Ha, mawadu'u. It has places. Yakunu fiha which they occur. The kasra occurs in particular places. The particular places, the mawadu' that it occurs is the mawadu' is mufrad, the mawadu' of isa mufrad, and jam'u taksir, and jam'u al-nath salim. 
You see, the ya has muadhir, places where it occurs, which is asma'ul khamsa muthanna jam'a dhakri salim. And the fatah has a place where it occurs, which is when it's mamlu' min as-salat. And that's why the shaykh says, وَسَنَذْكُرُ لَكَ مَوَاضِعَهَا We will mention to you its places, tafsilan fi ma yali, in details to come. Are we all together? Now he's going to go into each one. Al-kasratu wa muwadi'uha Kasra and its places. And we already know in advance the kasra. What is the muwadi' for the kasra? How many? On the board for you already? Three. The kasra is three muwadi'. Fatakunu alamatan lil khatti fi thalathati muwadi'a The kasra is a sign for the khaft huh? in three places. Fi l-ism al-mufrad al-munsari fi Wow. Something new has come now. Ism, Mufrad, we know it stands. And we know what it is. Ism al Mufrad. But you have now mentioned Ism al Mufrad al Munsarif. What is the Ism Mufrad al Munsarif? This is the mushkila with this kitab, Muqaddimah al Ajrumiya. This is one of the issues which scholars they critique it for. And it is what? It's cr criticized for. All of this time, the ism mufrad was made for you to believe is only one type. Does that make sense? From the start of alamat, when we came to Bab Ma'rifat alamat al-Iraq, we were always made to f believe that the what? That the ism mufrad is only one type. But the truth of the matter is that the ism mufrad is what? It's two types. Are we all together? Does that make sense? And I want you to all understand this point because today's class is going to be the hardest that we've done so far. Those who came today are in trouble. They are what? They're in trouble today. Inshallah, I won't be in trouble. Ibn al Kareem. I'll try to simplify it and go over it as many times as needed. Are we all together? But I want you to pay attention. If you miss a slight information, it may cause you not to be able to catch up uh, with it. So pay full attention. The Isim Mufrad, how many types? Isim Mufrad is two types. Let me first, first of all tell you the reason why Ibn Ajrum, are we all together? Why he never ever distinguish between the ism mufrad, why he didn't categorize it into two. Are we all together? The reason why he chose not to categorize it into two. There's a reason, there's a hikmah that he chose not to. The reason is because it didn't matter whichever two types it was when it was what? a raf It didn't matter. Are we all together? When we were at Nasb, Mansub, it didn't really matter which of the two types of it, it was. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? When we were in Raf, it didn't matter which ism mufrad it was, whether it's munsarif or ghayru munsarif. It didn't matter. It wasn't important. Are we all together? It didn't matter. Nor did it matter in Nasb. The only time it mattered for us to know the difference is when it's Khaf. Because Khaf chooses one of the two types of ism mufrad. It won't accept every ism mufrad to be mansub. Majroon bil kasra. Are we all together? Does that make sense now? But it would have been better, and you're going to see this in Mutamimatul Ajrumiya. Are we all together? Mutamimatul Ajrumiya, what it does for you is that when you're in raf, it says to you, Isim Mufrad Munsarif Kana or Wairu Munsarif. Are we all together? When you're in raf, it will say to you the singular noun which is Munsarif or if it's not Munsarif. Does that make sense? No. So, in advance, you've already been told there's a munsarif and there's something that is ghayru munsarif. And then when it's in raf, he does the same. He says to you, ism mufrad munsarif an kana ghayru munsarif. It doesn't matter. When it comes to the third one, which is khaf, it says to you, ism mufrad munsarif. Does that make sense? So, he doesn't say to you ghayru munsarif. So, you already know one type has dropped. So let me go to what is the two. First, are we, together? Are we, all, are we, are we all together? Why Ibn Ajurum chose not to bring it in his book? 
So what does it mean, ism? What does a ism, mufrad, munsarif mean? It's basically a noun. It's a singular noun. So we already know what ism mufrad means, right? Everybody in here knows what ism mufrad means, right? Everyone here knows what ism mufrad means. It's a what? Singular noun. So that, that's singular. A singular noun. What does munsarif mean? Munsarif in Arabic actually just means tanween. It means a tanween. What does it mean? It means tanween. An, in, un. Tanween. Are we all together? Now pay attention here. This is a bit tricky, okay? It's tricky. It's nothing hard. It's, so, it's just a bit tricky. A ism can sometimes look like what? Yeah? A ism sometimes can look like what? A harf. Sometimes an ism can take characteristics that were known for a harf. Are we all together? Ibn Malik says, well, ism minhu mu'rabun wa mabni. There's an ism which is mu'rab and there's a mabni. What is a mabni? Yeah? It's an ism that looks like a what? Harf. And then when you hear, when you hear an ism that looks like a harf, then this, this thing, this concept comes into place which is called bina, yubna, mubni. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? Well, ism minhu mu'rabun wa mabni li shabahi min al hurufi mudni. The ism is what? The ism is what? Any ism that resembles a harf, it is called mabni. Crystal clear? Does that make sense? Very good. And a ism that looks like a fi'il is what? It's غير منصرف. I mean, it's منصرف. It's what? It's a ism which is? It's a غير منصرف. Does that make sense? It's a ism which is? غير منصرف. Are we all together? Huh? So if a ism looks like a fi'il, it looks like a what? A verb. It leaves the realm of what her ism was. It takes attributes of a what? This is called what? It's called... It's called a غير منصرف. Are we all together? Does that make sense? That's all it is for you. That's very good. Okay. <coughs> Does that make sense before I move on? Does everyone understand? على علامة أصلية الكسرة فأما الكسر فتكون علامة للخفض في ثلاثة مواضع في الاسم المفرد المنصرف وجمع التكثير المنصرف وفي الجمع المؤنث السالم جود اسم المفرد المنصرف is الذي يقبل التنوين so if we say اسم مفرد منصرف here means اسم which is a singular noun اسم مفرد which is a singular noun منصرف means what يقبل it accepts tanween. And then any noun that accepts tanween and in un is what? Majrurun with what? With kasra. Sah? Zahab to I went. I left. I went. Bi Muhammadin. Sah? Bi Muhammadin. So what do we say? Muhammadin here is what? It accepts tanween, does it not? Because it's a what? It's a ism mufrad, which is 
Munsarif. It accepts it. Are we all together? Like in, for example, are we together? Marar to be zay din or be zay dan or be zay dun. We know that is hard for jar, right? So we say, Marar to be zay. Marar to be zay. Can we say be zay din? We can? Can we say be zay din? Huh? Yeah, you can. Reason why you guys said no, because you thought the second example wouldn't be one, right? Huh? That's what gave you shak. Huh? Okay, what about if we change Zayd with Ahmed? By the way, people, scholars, use, they actually use Zayd a lot because it's what? It's ism which is what? Yaqbalu tanwina. So it's good. It can be turned to anything. So? Scholars use it because it can go through all three phases. Marartu, let's change Zayd to Ahmed. And say Marartu. Can I say bi Ahmadi? Can I say that? Yeah? No, Ahmed doesn't accept it. So? Ahmed what? Doesn't accept Tanween. You can never say Ahmadun, Ahmadin, Ahmadan. You can't. Ahmed doesn't accept it. Ahmed is a singular noun which does not accept Tanween. And then here, it's what? It's Mamnu' min asar. So it becomes Majroor with what? Fatha. So you say Marartu bi Ahmada. Are we all together? So you say Marartu, I went by with what? Bi Ahmada, you say. Am I making sense? No. Huh? Ahmad doesn't accept and win. So you say, Marathu bi Ahmad. We'll come to, inshallah ta'ala, the mamnu'u min as-sarf, illataini, those, have two, those which have two illa, and those which have only one illa, we'll speak about it, and we'll speak about the sirah al-muntah al-jumu'ah, etc. Very good. So that's what it, that's what it is. Al-ism al-mufrad al-munsarif means, whenever you hear it, what do you understand from it? It is, al-ladhi yaqbalu as-sarfa, am al-ladhi yaqbalu tanwina. It's whatever, whichever one accepts tanwin. Very good. The second one is what? Jam'u? Jam'u taksir. The same thing applies to Jam'u taksir. Okay, the Shaykh here, what does he say? Wajam'u taksir al munsarifi. The same with Jam'u taksir. Jam'u taksir has munsarif, ghayr munsarif as well. There's words that are broken plural that don't accept tanween. Are you with me? There's words that are plural that don't, Jam'u, the broken plural, and they won't accept what? They will not accept tanween. Okay? They will not accept. They will not accept tanween. So, for example, if you say, Marartu birrijali or birrijala. We know the word rijal is, is a broken plural, right? It's jam'u taksir, right? Is it jam'u taksir? A rijal is it jam'u taksir, brothers? Yes. It's broken, broken plural. Is it munsarif? Does, it, does Rijal accept Tanween? Right now, I know you're all thinking, no, I don't know if it does. Allahu alam. But don't worry, when we do the Munsarif and we learn those which don't accept Tanween, we will know the rest they accept Tanween. Okay? So if right now, you, in your head, you're like, I don't know which word accepts Tanween and which doesn't. Sah? Don't worry. At the end, inshallah, if we've got time, what we will do, inshallah ta'ala, is we're going to take, we're going to take what? The types, the nine types that what? The nine types that don't accept and win. So once you know those nine types, the rest you're going to know it does accept and win. Are we all together? Sah? So just for now, just go with the flow in it. Just like act like Abbas, like you understand what's happening here. Okay? Just go with the, go with the flow. Yeah, Abbas, that's how you do things. So maratu bil rijali. A rijali is what? Is a broken? What is it? It's a broken plural. Does rijal accept tanween? Yes, it does accept tanween. So then are we allowed to because we know the word rijal accepts tanween, can we? Are we allowed to uh, place a kas uh, kasra there? Yes. So we say maratu bil rijali. Good, good, mashallah. Sah? What about the word masajid? So, Maratu bil masa, 
مررت بالمساجد أما مساجدي ها؟ أو يقول تجدا؟ يسمى مساجدا لأن مساجدا is a broken plural لكنه لا يقبل التنوين. Why does he not accept تنوين? We'll come to it. Don't worry. It will be all given to you. إن الله تعالى. That he doesn't accept تنوين. Does that make sense? All of that will come to us soon, insha'Allah ta'ala. Last but not least is Jab'u al-Mu'annath al-Salim. Farihtu, I became happy. Bilqanitati. Sah? Farihtu, I became happy. With what? Bilqanitati, the women who are obedient to Allah wa ta'ala, worshippers of his. Are, are, you, are we all together? What example does he bring? نظرت إلى الفتيات إلى سوري نظرت إلى فتيات مؤدبات I looked at girls who were well mannered إذن فتيات is what نظرت is what I looked إلى towards أي فتيات is what استمع عن التسالي معي صحيح and it's is majrur, right? Because ila went before it. Anything that comes after ila is always majrur. Sah? Jar. How is the jar expressed here? How is the ex how does it show? It shows by kasra. Why? Because it's Jamban it's salim. No one can ask you why, but I'm only asking you why, so you know. Does that make sense? And then those are the only three which are majrur bil kasra. Anything other than that are not majrur bil kasra. If you ever see an ism which is majrur and it has a kasra there, you need to know it's one of these three. Sahih. You just need to know it's, it's a mufrad munsarif, jam'ut taksir, which is munsarif, and jam'ullat is salim. Does that make sense? Very good. Does everybody understand before we move on? Is it crystal clear? Does anyone have any questions regarding that? Okay, now we're going to move on to the second type. Okay, which is. Alam alamatani fariyatani. We're gonna move on to two sides which are sub branches. What are they? Fariyatani. They are. They are sub branches. They are not asal. They are not. They are not asal. And what are they? The first one is what? The first one is aliya. The first one is. It's ya. وَأَمَّا الْيَاءُ The Sheikh says, Ibn Ajrum, he says, فَتَكُونُ عَلَامَةً لِلْقَفْضِ فِي ثَلَاثَةِ فِي ثَلَاثَةِ مَوَاضِعَ The ya, it becomes the sign of the khaft in three places. The first one is فِي الْأَسْمَاءِ الْخَمْسَةِ وَفِي التَّثْنِيَةِ وَالْجَمْعِ I wrote three of them for you. الْأَسْمَاءُ الْخَمْسَةِ For example, you say, Farihtu, I became happy. Bi abika with your father, wa akhika, your brother, wa hamika, ama wa hamiki. You say that, etc. So what do you say? Farihtu bi abika, I became happy with what? Your father. Sallim ala abika. Sallim, give salams to what? Ala on abika. Abika is what? Ism? Alhamdulillah. Abika is what? It's a majrur, right? Okay. Majrur wa alamatu jarrihi. Abika is is majrur because ilaha went before it. Ala, sorry. Salim. The examples in the Tuhfatu Saniya for everybody. Salim. Greet. Ala abika. Give salams to your what? Onto your father. Sallim ala abika. Sah? So you say, Sallim ala So Sallim, greet ala abika. The ala is here, right? Huh? And we know Anything that comes after ala, because ala is from the huruf al-jar, right? Huruf 
that what do they do to the noun? They make it majroor, they place jar on there, right? So we know this place, this mawdu' is mawdu' al-jar. It's a place of jar, right? So abika, abika is what? It's it's majroor. Okay. The question is, wa alama tu jarrihi? It's ya. Yeah. So this is it. The ya is how it expresses it. Because it's what? It's what? Asma'ul Khamsa. Are we all together? Asma'ul Khamsa. Good. The second one is Wafit Tathniya. The second one is in the Muthanna. The second one is in the Muthanna. You say Umbur ilal Jundiyayni. Um, let's say the example that we took just like this one. Sallim ala siddiqayni. Sallim. Give salams to what? Ala siddiqayni. The two friends. Ala siddiqayni. What is siddiqayni? Huh? Majroor. Ism jar, right? Ism majroor. Wa alamatu jarrihi. Aliya. Li annahu. لأنه مثنى صح؟ لأنه مثنى because it's a مثنى. Are we all on the same page? Are we all together? The last, last, not least is جمع ذكر السالم. جمع ذكر السالم is سلم على المجتهدين على المجتهدين سلم. Give salams to what? على المجتهدين. مجتهدين is what? It's a majroor, right? Wa alama tu jarrihi aliya. Li annahu jam'u mudakkar salim. Li annahu jam'u mudakkar salim. How do you know the difference between a muthanna and a jam'u mudakkar salim, Abbas? Let me write it for you. That's the first one. We have Siddiqaini. And we have Siddiqina. Hey, what's the difference between the two? The first one is Muthanna and the second is Jamma Dakar Salim. This is a Muthanna and this is a Jamma. This is a jamma dhakr salim. Sah? <coughs> hey? So the first one is muthanna and the second is jamma dhakr salim. Am I right? If I say that. Huh? So the first one is siddiqayni. Is that muthanna? Yeah? Because siddiqayni is what? Huh? Two. Siddiqin? Huh? Masculine or feminine? So you say it's a, it's a plural masculine. How do you know which one's which? Huh? Now how do you distinguish between one is a muthanna? Look at how they look the same. They've got the same letters. Sah? Don't they have the same letters? Are they not written the same? And both of them are lot. What? Right now, Halatul Harat Halat Halatul Jarri. Sah? How do you know which one's which? Yeah? <coughs> hey? Fatullah, save the day. Ah. So the Jama is recognized by the Kafka and, and the Muthanna by the Fath. Jameel. Before the Ya, the Haraka before it, if it's a Fatha, is a Muthanna. Does it make sense? It's a what? Muthanna. Look at it. Siddi Qaini Qaf is a Fatha on it. That's a Muthanna. Anto Ma'i? Are you with me? And Siddi Qina, what does it have? 
a kathra before the ya is the jamma the khalsani. Sah? That's just a little trick and a little benefit you can learn it with. But as you go on, you're just going to realize which one's which. It just feels right. It just feels. It just makes. It feels right that this is a muthanna and this is a jama, right? Yeah? The answer is that simple. The answer. I'm a simple person, Abbas, you know? I don't like to make things hard for people. Okay, are we, are we all on the same page? <coughs> and then, the Jamma Dhakr is Salim and the Muthanna both what? And the is, 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 uh, Asma'ul Khamsa is what? Okay, now I can ask you questions like this. Asma'ul Khamsa is marfu' with what? The Asma'ul Khamsa is marfu' with what, Abbas? Please don't tell him. I never asked you. I never asked anyone other than him. Abbas, Asma'ul Khamsa is marfu' with what? Huh? Sa'ad, what's Asma'ul Khamsa marfu' with? Majroor with what? Mansub with what? Say that again. The Asma'ul Khamsa is marfu' with what? Asma'ul Khamsa is marfu'ud bil waw. This is how fast you have to know it now. Okay, because you already took three alam already so much. And these are asm today's only jar, we're only going to talk about asma. You're not going to see in there any fi'l because fi'l doesn't enter into jar. Sah? Jar is alam which is unique for what? Fi'l. Uh, sorry, sorry, ism, not a fi'l. Fi'l does not enter this room. So now you need to know all of the asma, halatul i'rab, what they are. Sah? The six, you need to know what they are. Are we all together, brothers? Sad. You said Asma'ul Khamsa is marfu' with what? Bil Wawi. Mansub with what? Bil Alif, are you sure? Majroor with what? Bil Ya'i. See how fast he answered that? Does that make sense? You have to answer it that fast. Asma'ul Khamsa is marfu' what? with what? Bil Wawi. Mansub with what? Bil Alifi. Majroor with what? Today you learnt it. Bil Ya'i. And Asma'ul Khamsa is the best one. Have you realized that? Because it goes according to the sign, the, the, the utterance of that word, the halaka, the, the huruf of it. The wow is what looks like a bamba. Are you there? The fatha, what looks like it is a what? Ali. The kasra, what looks like it is a what? A yeah. All three of those is what you find in Asma'ul Khamsa. Just remember that. Hey, Sa'ad. The Muthanna is marfu' with what? Muthanna is marfu' Bil Alifi. Good. Is Mansub with what? Bil Ya. Majroor with what? Jameel, have you seen that? So the Muthanna is marfu' with what? Alifi. It is Majroor with what? Ya. Is Mansub with what? Ya. Does it make sense? Hey, Imran. Jamma al Mu'annati Salim is Mansub with what? So Mansub bil Kasra. Hey, what is it? Majroor with what? Again, you see, it's a tricky one that people get asked. Jabr al Salim is majroor, is marfu, uh, sorry, mansub with kasra. And it is also majroor bil kasra. So that's why I asked him, just to see if he can. Hey, marfu with what? Marfu bil dam. Sahih? Are we all together? Okay. Uh, what about Asma'ul Khamsa? Uh, sorry, Jabr al Dhakr Salim. Marfu with what? So, Jammu Dhakar Salim is marfu' with what? Is it wow or is it dhamma? Jammu Dhakar Salim is marfu' with what? Marfu' bil wow. Example? Muslimuna. Good. Is majroor with what? Masubun? Bil ya. Good. Jameel? So the Jammu Dhakar Salim and the Muthanna are only different in terms of what? Halatul Raf'i. But Halatul Nasbi and Halatul Jarri, they're both the same. Make sense? Good. Um, <coughs> Abdul Ahad, Jam'ul Jam'u Taksir is marfu' with what? Marfu' with? Marfu' with the Dhamma. Mansubin? Mansub bil Fatah, Jam'ul Taksir. Majroor with what? You can't say that. It's a tricky one. You say which type of Jabba Taksir are you talking about? 
Is it munsarif or ghayr munsarif? Sah? Because I'm in taksir, two types now. Are you with me? It broke into two. Halat al you can say which one? You can just say marfu' bil dhamma. Halat al nasb, you can say mansub bil fatah. Like in halat al jarri, you have to say which of the two are you talking about? Are you talking about jam'u al taksir, which is munsarif or ghayr munsarif? If you're talking about jam'u al taksir, which is munsarif, na'a bil kasra. If it's ghayr munsarif, you say it what? You say fatah. Does that make sense? You say it's fatah. Are you with me, Abdul Ahad? Fatanabbah li dalik is important. Does that make sense? So ala kulli hal this umum what you need to realize. This is how fast you need to know it. Does that make sense? If you learn this eight, as I said to you before, where, where, how they express the alama, all you need to know is the, the places that jar comes, mansubat, marfu'at, makhfubat. If you learn those, you are a master in, in nahu. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? And the book Adrumiya will bring all of those for you. The times when there's makhfub. We only learn one time when it's makhfub. Which one did we take? It's a is the only one we took all the time. We speak, we kept speaking about ala bi, sah maratu bi, ala ila. That is a is what we've been learning so far. We're gonna have to. We've got two more to go. What do we have? Two more extra makhfubat that we need. We haven't studied idafa, which we haven't come to, sah. And the third one is what Imran? The tawabi, sah. The tawabi, which is al badal, al tawkid, al naat, and what? What's the third one? Al sifa. No, so is not. What's the third one? Atf. Jameel. Are we all together? We will come to all of that. Pay attention. Grammar is connected. If you miss one class, if you miss one lesson, you don't go over the notes, you're going to... Not that I'm throwing you under the bus, but you will throw yourself under the bus. Sahabas. Today you don't like the spotlights on you, yeah? You have to be sharp. Have we all understood this point so far? Yeah? We won't make it too complicated. We'll stop there, inshallah ta'ala. We will leave mamnu' min as-sarf for another day. We'll leave the uh, mamnu' min as-sarf for another day. Sah? Al-Fatha, which is al-mamnu' min as-sarf, we'll leave that for next lesson all by itself, inshallah ta'ala. Anything which I have said that was wrong and incorrect is from me and shaytan, and his, Allah and his message are free from it. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا الله استغفرك واتوب اليك